Okay, folks, so to uh, disable the uh, encryption on the HDMI port uh, on your video, um, we're gonna, I'm going to just walk you through there. So you're going to go into your settings. Now you're only going to find this in the latest update as of 7. Dot, uh, sorry, 1.7. Okay, now there's, it's up to 1.71, the firmware, PlayStation firmware. But if you update it to the latest one, and you go to settings, and you go to system, you'll see enable HDCP, okay? That is the encryption, okay? And you want to take that off. And that's it. So with that disabled, you can now go and use your El Elgato Gaming uh, Game Capture um, game capture card, okay? Now I'm gonna test that out. Um, so, yeah, uh, hopefully it works. Again, I, uh, it's, it's, I'm testing it out. I don't know if I'm able to capture menu play, um, but I know this this issue has been addressed, so you can capture game capturing, okay? So we're gonna test it out and uh, see how it goes. Okay, folks, and now we're going to turn on our PlayStation and uh, see if we start capturing... Um, see if we start capturing video. So it's coming up on the TV, and uh, looks like it is capturing. I got the image on my TV, and I got the image um, on, the, uh, on my computer. So it looks like we can <clears throat> definitely start capturing... Um, from the cross menu um, yeah so there you go folks it works now I don't have any games installed but um, because I am just getting this set up now so what I'll do is uh, we'll get uh, we'll get something set up and see if I can uh, just capture a few a, a minute or two of a game just to get this going Now here's a quick question to those of you who are probably asking yourself, could I possibly record Netflix um, with your with the Elgato capture card? And I'll tell you right now, the answer is no. And, uh, and I'm going to show you why. So I've got Netflix installed. Okay, and I'm going to select it. Now check that out. Settings. You got to turn. You have to re-enable the uh, HDCP, the uh, the uh, video encryption. <laughs> so um, so there you go. So it's kind of it's kind of smart that you can't uh, record uh, sources like Netflix and stuff. And I believe it works with Crackle as well. See that? So that hopefully that answer. Well, that should answer your question about uh, capturing the. Uh, the streaming the streaming media sites for like from Netflix and Crackle. Okay folks, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna capture capture some gameplay. Okay, and we're just gonna get a uh, one or two minutes of it just to just to see how uh, how well it works. Okay. So this is the first time I'm running uh, the this Pixel Junk shooter. Um uh, the first time I'm playing it. Um at this, you know, uh, and again, this is just to get this thing going and, and uh, see how good it captures the the gameplay, which I'm pretty overly confident that it the Elgato game capture card is going to do a wonderful job as it has, as it has always done uh, in the past. Let's not waste our time figuring out how to play this game. As you can see, game capturing is working, and um, let's just let's just keep it at that. So we have capturing at the menu system. We have capturing in the game. The Elgato card is working just wonderfully, if I, if I do say so myself. Uh, all the options are there in terms of resolution in the in the software of the thing of the uh, application. So you know what? If you're still looking out to get a game capture card go ahead and 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 uh, pick this up now I gotta I gotta tell you one thing um, I do have three TVs in the house um, and I've tested this setup you know the ps4 with the Elgato card on an older TV it's from 2005 it's a Toshiba DLP 44 inch um, I was able to capture the content but I was not able to get the the similar display on the TV 
okay because if those of you that are familiar with the game capture card it's a little box you plug in your your ps4 into one end and then on the opposite end it goes to the tv well the video image on the tv was not appearing um, i don't know why I don't know if it's because it's an older TV and it wasn't compatible with something in the signal, um, but I have moved now to a newer TV, which is for, it's a couple years old. It's a Samsung 55 inch. Um, and again, it's two years old. And um, it's, it, I got the image on the TV and I'm capturing the image on the card. It's working wonderfully. I do have a third TV. It's a 40 inch um, Samsung. That is about maybe three years, three, three to four years old. I have not tested it out on there, but um, I'm just letting you know, just giving you a heads up. If you have an older TV, this setup may not work. Um, and I'm just telling you this, I haven't done any research into it as to why it doesn't work, but um, it's important that you guys know that you should do, maybe take care of some additional research, um, some due diligence, in terms of uh, if your TV supports it. And you know what? And if you get this stuff at your Best Buy, if it doesn't work, you can always return it uh, within the 30 days. Uh, so make sure if you do go out, make sure you get it from a retailer that does uh, does accept um, returns. And um, also keep an eye on the, on the, on the user forum. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put in any time and effort into seeing why it didn't work on my other TV. That since the TV is old, it's something that sits in the basement. I don't use it that often. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to put any effort into finding a solution for that. So if you guys have questions about that, I may not be the best one to answer that for you. Check the Elgato uh, support, support site. All right. Anyways, that's all for now. And ciao. And ciao for now.